Legacy of the Vikings, everyone, and it's finally coming true, guys. We only have a couple. This is going to be it. I guarantee it. There is no possible, I mean, literally no possible way that this could go wrong. Okay? Like, legitly, I think this is going to be it. Okay. Anyways, though, um, right now what we are doing is we were trying to, you know, diplomatically get everyone to like us, desired provinces, border friction, same religion, enemy, enemy, royal marriage, gosh, that aggressive expansion ability just hurts us so much, alright, I'm gonna be sending some, some relations here, maybe it just might improve us enough to where they'll like us again, so wouldn't mind having them also as a vassal, um, by the way, I also mentioned somebody exceptional this year, um, National trade tax modify. National tax modifies are more important. Um, I did realize that I can't actually annex these guys because they are of a different religion than me, which really does stink. Um, I was kind of a little bit ticked off when I realized that, because I kind of been spending some good money on these guys. So, um, yeah, that that did not make me feel at all, at all. But anyways, what I'm going to start doing is, is I'm going to cancel all militaristic stop and relationship improvement. Because I mean, there's no point. I mean, yeah, if you guys don't believe me, um, I'll put vassalization. You must have a royal marriage, you must have military alliance, so it's, and the target country must have the same religion. Yeah, that's the part I forgot to see. And so, yeah, I'm going to stop militaristic improvement, and what I'm going to do is try to fabricate a claim onto the Vivorian, Vivorian, Livonian order. Okay, since we have been, since it's been kind of, they still like us. Wow. Um, since it's been kind of, it's been kind of going on that I knew I'd have to, we'd have, we knew we were going to have to eventually go into this territory. And I think it's finally time for us to, so, into German land. We're going to first aim for into German land, just so we can have a little bit more control and a little bit more buffer zone for us. Okay? Because, yeah, we always need a better buffer zone. Anyways, um, I'm also gonna be looking for powerful allies that do not hate us completely. Moscow hate us. Livonia Order hates us, and my phone is dying, which is not a good sign. There it is. It's not dying anymore. Um, ne Friesland has almost united all of the Netherlands. It just needs Holland, <laughs> the capital. That's all it needs, guys, and it basically forms the Netherlands. Which means there's another sea power in this game, which means this is turning out to be a very ahistoric-like game. I mean, we have the... Well, historic and ahistoric. I mean, we have Ireland forming, which is something I never expected. And then we have Friesland almost uniting all the game. Crazy. Alright, we're gonna look for people that like us. Um, you have no diplomats to send. Um, I think Hungary would probably be our best bet, because not only they... Uh, well, actually, the Catholic, they're pretty dang strong, like, in terms of militaristically, like, if you look at the ledger, uh, army-wise, militaristically, the biggest armies in the game of France, Ottomans, Muscovy, Sweden, ha ha, ha um, Lithuania, Mali, Mali actually has an it? what? Austria, Aztecs, really? Spain, I have more than Spain, wait. I am like two away from the top. That is awesome, and the the, so, the Soviets are a little bit bigger than me. That's scary. Anyways, I was going to say that Hungary does not have a bad military, but they have a terrible military. That'd be a terrible idea. Okay, so but maybe the tech is higher because there was a reason why I wanted these guys on my side. It wasn't just because I was just choosing choosing them willy nilly, and maybe it was because I was choosing them willy nilly. I'm starting to believe that I was choosing them willy nilly. So that's kind of a shame. Anyways, continuing on with our adventures, uh, we are getting, this is like so dang close, I, in about less than a month, one more month, and we'll have it, yes, okay, 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 ha 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 allows group ideals of a theocracy, and choose a new ideal group, okay, I can choose a new ideal group, that's always cool, 
Um, but there's a bigger decision I'm going to do, which is the form of the Scandinavian nation. Okay, so everyone, you ready to count down? So five, four, three, two, one, go. <laughs> yeah. We are finally the Scandinavian nation, which means I think we're getting core on all the things that aren't Scandinavia, which isn't very much, I don't think. Oh, we just getting natural cores on the Varian order? That's cool. And we're getting the <laughs> So when we go to war, we can basically take a lot of land from them because we can basically just declare war on all the places we don't want. Which will be easy. Um for Norway we can now just outright annex them. Um except for these provinces. Denmark, we could just outright annex them now. Oh, the Pomerania? No wonder why we hate Pomerania. They annexed Denmark. That's our job. Um, but yeah, now we get all these little cores. This will be nice. Um, get nothing over here, sadly. Meh, meh, meh. Trade value-wise, we're still, like I said, we're still like the leaders in the Baltic Sea. I don't think anyone's ever going to. The Livonian Order definitely has to be destroyed now. Because now they're starting to take a little bit too much. And they're really starting to make me mad. They are... Yeah, retain trade value, it may stay here, but it's not. It's starting to become a little bit annoying that they're starting to own more. Anyway, so yeah, we... It's it's time, I think, for good old-fashioned war. Now since we're doing the Scandinavian thing, and now since we're starting to expand the colonies, and I don't want my colonies to become too big, because I want to make sure that we uh, do this, I'm going to finally switch over from Catholicism to Protestantism. Oh, here it comes. Three stability here, guys. Gosh. That was harsh. Um, after the conformity, I can now do um, stability, tax modifier, um, missionary strength, tolerance of heretics, um, pass test. All right. Now that we have now we have some of these laws enacted, we're going to. Ooh, goodness, this is gonna take a while. We have a what? It's still orthodox. How the 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 the. the I would love to know your secret of how you stayed this progress so far at the speed you'll finish in March 1540. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, now we have our nation is officially an accepted culture loss. King, we no longer accept Danish. And this is no longer accepted. Well, I think Danish is kind of assimilated out of the game. But yeah, now since we now accept Protestantism as our main thing, we are now probably the most powerful nation besides the Irish and the English of being the most popular. Powerful Protestants ever. And Sunni has basically taken over the world, guys. If you guys were a Shiite fan and wanted the Shiites to rule the world, they do not. And the Orthodox are only constricted to one country, which I destroyed the other one. With the help of some neighbors, I destroyed the other one. Anyways, now that we are Scandinavia, we could become the defender of the faith. Which this will cost us after 24 months countries with more prestige than the current defender can claim to die. You also lose. Well, give me one missionary strength, one missionary exhaustion, yearly victories, technology cost. If I'm going to war, I think that'd be a really good event, but. Wait, can I go to war? Wait, what am I doing? I could go to war right now. Let's see. Allied with Iceland. Or Ireland. Well, Ireland's not gonna do anything to me. I mean, let, let's be real here. They have four. They have four soldiers. I just go annex you guys right off the bat. Well, actually, oh gosh, I have to start gaining cores on these things. I didn't even gain cores on those things. Can I, can I even do that? Well, I'll worry about that any later. But anyways, guys, we have now formed Scandinavia. It took us a long, long time. It took us like until episode twenty. Gosh. But we have now formed Scandinavia, which means Scandinavia is now officially a country of coolness. We have a very... Uh, I don't think I could quite say I particularly enjoy the, like, color right scheme they're going for, but it's not bad, I guess. And we have so much money right now. What am I doing not using it? Okay, let's see. A farming estate, goods produced. Oh, man, I could use that. A farming estate. I'm going to build that into... Uh, Sclain, let's see, it's 100% produced. So, let's see. Goods produced. So, I want to make sure March, manpower, local defensiveness. I can also build one of these, which also be pretty nice. Let's build this into New St. James. Actually, because New St. James is still going to be a border friction colony for as long as it lives. Like, we're going to have problems in that colony forever. And then over here, our missionary strength is, like, insanely powerful. Alright, we have an alliance offer from Brandenburg. 
Brandenburg. Could I get a really good relationship with Brandenburg? Let's see. They are at war with Pomerania, which I could tag along instantly. Choose with Livonian Order, Lithuania, Teutonic Order. Not really, because I do in a coalition against the Hansa. Um, has a mission of conquer Galena. What is our mission, by the way? Uh, conquer. Uh, where is that? Owner Rivel and Ryland. Oh yeah, that will own that once we gain the conquest thing. Okay. Past suffrage bishop act, which gives us an actual type small for the. Uh, don't think that's actually a good thing. Anyways, um, new spread of reformation. Dang it! A revolt. Ah, I have patriots. That's why I have an army over here, people. If you ever wondered why, that's exactly why I have an army over here. Okay, support all my men for at least a little bit. And, gosh, yeah, we're going to have to start expanding again. Colony damage. Oh, my goodness. Native uprising. Oh, no. Well, they're not going to stop the low road. Of, uh, the growth rate. We basically conquered everything. Over here, we have... Um, outmatch the natives. Over here, we're basically about to outmatch the natives. In about one year or two, they'll basically be outmatched, and we can basically go take over this colony. Over here, we have a lot of settlers. Um, it's kind of sad. Over here, though, units suffered. Um, now that you guys are now done, now we can get rid of that. Get back to low taxation. Why are we suffering so much affliction? Over here, we can now take a few slots. Um, I've been thinking long and hard about this free slot, and I think I'm going to go with economic ideals. Because, while trade efficiency and all this is kind of good, oh uh, well, let, let, me let me review the options for you guys so you know where I'm coming from. Diplomatic ideas is kind of stupid in my opinion. Let me cause there's a, uh, let me cause a bell eyes with, versus other government decks. Well, actually that's not necessarily too stupid, but it's still not what I want to do at this point. Um, economic ideas is kind of where I want to go to because I want to make sure I want to get this. This is really where I want to get because, yeah, this just seems like a better production expansion could also work if I really additional colonists. But I'm not. See, the problem is that I can't really do this unless I was like unless I was going for the whole like being an entire global empire and I haven't really chosen an administrative idea and what am I going to be using oh, I'm not really, what am I going to be using diplomatic for for the next couple of years that's the thing though I will always use my administrative tech for something my uh, but it's not really like I really uh, gosh. you know what I'm sticking to my plan let's get economic next can we have unlocked the economic ideal group and also can we boost our stability yeah we're gonna have to wait a little bit on that so yeah once we boost our stability our money should be also rolling back in which will be nice we're gonna have to go a little bit negative for a little bit and deal with a lot of persecution by our recent relatives and I just realized my own capital is not even Catholic well I cannot send a missionary tolerance of faith yeah this one is uh, you know, I almost feel like I should leave this one for last. Go to this one. Get my own capital converted first. When's that gonna finish? 1838. Yeah, that's gonna take a lot quicker than my other capital. Okay, now we have all these rebellions starting to happen. Great. So yeah, we got all these Catholics. Yeah, all the Catholic zealots are starting to rise up because all the other countries in the world are trying to reform it. Um... Yeah, it's, it's just the average life in the days of a uh, thing. And now we got a flute. That's pretty cool. Um, still can pass the self reject. I'm really debating that. Um, yeah, we're still going to have to wait for that to come up into play. Let's go start killing all these religious zealots. I won. Go kill these religious zealots. Or my vassal will go kill him for me. Thank you, vassal. Oh, no, the king. Oh, no. You ungrateful swine! Thank, oh gosh, I'm being, I'm being the nicest guy possible, and yet they still do stuff against me. It's a good thing I also switched, because the only Catholic province I have to deal with in the New World is that. But everything else is going to be Protestant, which is what I wanted. Because if they somehow became 
because I didn't want to like have a big gigantic yes okay that became self-sustaining excellent let's call it all right and we can go into new land we have to wait a little bit but we can go into new land in a couple minutes all right um yes all right let's see did we ever call this thing no it's taking us a little bit Opposing military six schools attack or do I want let them come for us? Do I want to attack or oh. <sighs> Stability drop that is really hurting me now now we are definitely having a trouble a little bit Sustaining ourselves because now we are just It's becoming a little bit big now it's not I'm in negative stability. You better watch out people because that gets pretty scary Oh, I have a free diplomat now. Um, aggressive expansion thing. That's going to take so, so very long to get down. Now since we're different religions, yeah, they're not going to like me forever. So I better just stop with my militaristic ties to them. Um, maybe who? I should probably get a new powerful alliance with someone. Um, target of a coalition. Uh, allied with Venice. I don't... As much as France would be a good helpful ally, like I'm thinking of this guy's logic, as much as France would be a good helpful ally, I don't think I should get them as my new ally. Like the new THE ally. Need somebody else that would be kind of helpful for me on land. I need to kind of think of this. Let's see. I like the Livonian one. No. I need somebody that would fight against. Wait, would the others like me? Against Augusta and I mean, these guys would be perfect if I can get them right. Would it be even possible? No, Ottoman disciples are becoming we need to have a positive ten versus super uh, no. And they have a regency council going on right now. Ooh, that's scary. Because I need to go well, I don't think the Hungarians are gonna do much even if I do the level, but because it's gonna be too many a militaristic roads they'd have to go through to get to me. I, I don't know. Anyways, let's just continue on with our game. Peasants are uprising everywhere. We have major peasants. Holy shoot, yep, 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 here it comes. Now we're gonna start having major, major, major problems. They're going to start coming in waves and waves and waves. This is where the, uh, this is where the the cool genius of this game comes alive because that's a pretty big army that I'm gonna have to stop now. I mean, look how big that is 18k, that's even bigger than my actual standing army. This is a sad thing to admit, but it is. Okay, I'm also okay, almost there, so I just need some administrative tech. Yeah, my administrative tech, I'm gonna be like occupied for the next like, couple of years. Um, I'm gonna go send these two armies to go unite to go try to deal with that army right over there. Missionary straight fish. Nationalist rebels of what? The jackal? What? Ooh, okay, now this is getting a little bit out of hand. We're gonna we have to really What do you guys want? Honestly. They will negotiate on the following terms, any control by the province. I don't I don't really get what you guys' terms are, but okay. Okay, revolt in Stockholm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to really group up all my army. We're gonna have to go crush all this. This is really getting me onto onto thin grounds. End of turmoil, yeah. My turmoil is about to just begin. Okay, let's go start crushing these guys here. How are these guys okay, let's boost up stability, let's get out some of these stupid rebels that are you know causing friction in my land okay next let's start supporting our military which I'm I don't remember if I was making money on that I'm not let's support our military for the next like couple battles because we're gonna have to go through a lot of different things come on come on we won okay good okay let's go back to our capital okay and there's more rebellions happening everywhere um, a world of marriage from Hogan Stack. How much do you guys like me? Um, hmm, not really worth it. In fact, I should probably just delete my alliance with Hogan Like, we don't, it, it's not benefiting us anymore. Okay, 
Okay, there we go. Those rebels are defeated. Go down here. Let's go destroy these rebels. Okay, now that these guys are defeated, let's go finally go destroy these guys. Well, actually, let's wait a little bit. So these guys are going to be the toughest rebels we've ever dealt with. It means I'm actually going to have to buy a leader. Which really doth stink. But it's just the truth. Wait, I only get one conquistador. What I could do actually is I could just make a militaristic blue out of my air. Cool my air and actually my air would be a little bit better in terms of militaristics. Let's let's make him lead the army. That's what I'll do. This guy isn't bad. Call ribbing! Go use your militaristic mind to go kill these guys. Come on, fight, kill the rebels, kill the major uprising. Yes! Okay, my air is awesome. <laughs> he just destroyed rebels like that. Okay. And Alliance from Michael Xavier? Where's Michael Xavier? No. That nation's gonna get gobbled up like as quick as cheese. It's not even worth my time. And then. Uh. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Wait, well, hey, a lot of people, things are happening. People don't want to be conscripted. Usually our system of national conscripts. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'll, lose, I'll lose some stability. My king, the savages. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, uh, yeah, my king's. Uh, okay, no. Oh no. Oh no. Wow, that colony is having difficulties. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to go send some armies to go uh, deal with the natives because that's like the third time they've done that. And I'm sorry, but after the third time, you guys really just gotta, you know, be quiet. <laughs> I guess in a sense. Yeah, because that's just like too much. That's just like too much right there. I mean, I'm trying to be nice here, but seriously. You. That that basically pushed my patience. <laughs> All right, and I really should. I really want to get down to this land, but I'm gonna to have to wait for at least one of these two guys to actually create a port, and I'm gonna to have to wait for them to be sphered, which is gonna take me a while. But anyways, guys, I think this is the end of the episode. We just did a major war. We just had a major conflict. We just succeeded through a major conflict. We are. I think we're still falling behind on technology. We're at least ten, ten, ten. No, actually, we're about even now with France and everyone else. 9, 10, 12. Yeah, we're about even with everyone else, so it's not too bad. Um, I think next episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to officially finish off Norway and just take the rest of everything that is going to be mine and then just, you know, take the rest of my land up here so I don't have to keep keeping troops up here and have to worry about a Norwegian counter-strike where they will try to take back all of their previous land which would be scary but anyways guys thank you guys for watching and don't forget to comment and subscribe see you guys next time